world is made up of terminal cases. They come in all sizes, shapes, and forms. From the unusually small, to the horrendously disfigured, to the disgustingly robust, we are all unique in our own special way. Growing up, there was always that guy who didn't fit in with the crowd. He was considered to be the outsider, the outcast, so to say, and was often ridiculed as being a freak of nature. However, I myself was fortunate enough not to have known something of that nature. The earliest memory I can recollect is my first trip to the beach. The sand, the sea, and the waves. Damn those waves. Then there was my first birthday party. Now usually birthday parties are supposed to be fun and exciting, but for some reason my mom decided it would be a good idea to invite Needle. And I'll be the first to say it, I hate Needle. I always wonder what became of that prick. I always knew he was no good. But enough of that. It's from my two big thumbs. Kicking around the ball. Oh, oh my, my god, dude, knock it off, bitch. Off. The soccer ball, man. The soccer ball. Crazy. You're gonna give me a ride home, right? Yeah, sure, come on. Ah! I'm so mistreated. This just in. The notorious crime boss, not only as Needle, has escaped from the federal penitentiary. If you have any information concerning this, Needle, call our crime watchers hotline at 800 do the snake do the snake bacon rules And in other news, there has been a recent outbreak of pink eye that causes explosive swelling of the eyeballs. <coughs> now back to your regularly scheduled program.
God is my witness, I vow to get Aaron back, even if it's the last thing I do. Got her daddy's car and she cruised through the hamburger stand now. Seems she forgot all about the library like she told her old man now. Could the next Steven Spielberg be in training right here in San Antonio? Okay. okay, and better news. Hollywood look out. Some young, talented filmmakers from San Antonio may be knocking on your door. Student directors and actors from Smithson Valley High School had a chance to show off their stuff on the big screen today over at AMC Theater at Hebner Oaks. It's part of the student's final project, and our Jeff Martinez was there. Look out, Julia Roberts. This is Erin Smith. She made her debut on the silver screen today in a student film called Life's a Beach. Help me, help me. It was a blast making it. We went to the beach and like I had to do that American woman part like 15 times because I couldn't be, because I laughed all the time. 
Erin and her film class screened each other's projects today, including co-director of Life's a Beach, Daniel Kelly. I really enjoy, you know, all doing all this stuff, and next year I'm going to UT, and I'll be studying film, and I'd like to either be a writer, or director, or an editor. It's my first trip to the beach. The sand, the sea, and the waves. We made a movie about a beach ball. It's a comedy, it's about a te bunch of teen, it's kind of like a teenager movie. Uh, Beach ball goes to school, he has a girlfriend. He also has an arch rival, um, Needle. Well, it may not be Oscar worthy, but it's all about learning how to make movies. We started out thinking it'd be pretty easy, but um, the filmmaking process we found out was really hard. I think the hardest thing was editing. 25 hours of editing, just staring at a computer screen. Um, putting in the audio, I think, was the most difficult part. The AMC Theater sponsored the film class. You never know who the next Spielberg, who the new, next Lucas would be. And San Antonio is lucky we have a number of schools with good film programs. Many of these film students say they hope to make it to the big time and maybe someday have one of their films playing at a theater near you. Jeff Martinez, the 9 o'clock news. Today's the day to beach ball. Just kidding. Well, AMC Theaters also sponsors other high school film classes around San Antonio. Stop laughing. Organizers say they hope the pro program will inspire some of the film students, obviously, to make a career out of the movie business. I tell you what, it's very hard for beach balls to get good roles these days. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm, I'm glad they're filling that niche. They did a good job. They did a good job.